there's there's a recent populist sort of wave of of, uh, of anti science, and as if that's something new. It's mostly because social media has given everybody uh, what appears to be an equal voice. Um, on the corner of, of Hyde Park in London, there's Speaker's Corner, and that used to be the internet, where you could go stand there and yell any stupid thing you wanted. And if people wanted to gather around and listen, that was their choice. But if you, if you weren't interested in whatever that person was spouting, then you didn't need to listen. But now, the internet has sort of turned everything into the Speaker's Corner. So it, you really have to just decide what, what are you going to listen to and what aren't you. And if someone decides to put forward some stupid idea that is patently false, like if somebody says, the sky is orange, You can have an argument about it if you want, but, but it's, it's obviously not true. So there's really no point in even engaging in conversation. Or if somebody says, the world is flat, it, it's patently untrue. So there's no point in engaging in conversation, because all you're doing is, is giving that person credibility for something that we've known for thousands of years to not be truth. So, so I, I just I don't even worry about it. The world is full of fascinating, interesting new discoveries, and, and we're pushing the very boundaries of, of what we know. Um, why would you engage with someone who is being deliberately ignorant? I don't mind people that just don't know. Then they're just in the process of learning. But if someone has chosen to take the facts and be deliberately stupid about them, then I think they've discounted themselves from rational conversation. Don't look. Nobody look. Nobody. Hey. Nobody look. Hey, I said don't look. I said don't look. What are you doing? I said, don't look, don't look at it. Nobody look, hey, I said, don't look. Water is also very dangerous on the space station because we have a lot of electricity. So we need to ver be very careful not to spill it. It's getting nice and wet. I want to make sure for the experiment that it's really soaking wet. Water is also very dangerous on the space station because we have a lot of electricity, so we need to ver be very careful not to spill it. Okay. So we need to ver be very careful not to spill it. So I have a soaking wet washcloth here floating in front of me. Well, there's one, there's one ball of water floating around. I'll put it on the washcloth. Okay. So we need to ver be very careful not to spill it. So here's a soaking wet washcloth. Get the microphone so you can hear me while I'm talking. And now let's, let's start wringing it out. Right? It's really wet. It's becoming a tube of water. If you wrestle with a pig, the best you can be is a pig wrestler.